A majority of users today get their power from the macrogrid. Microgrids are the alternative to the macrogrid. To understand microgrids, we have to understand macrogrids. The macrogrid is usually referred to as the utility. It has several components. The first component is the extra high voltage section with generated power voltage transformed up to 275,000 volts. Distributing power at high voltage reduces the power lost when distributing energy over large distances to cities and adjacent states. Transmission lines of the macrogrid are distributed across the U.S. The extra high voltage component of the macrogrid receives its AC power input from large decentralized power stations, including hydroelectrical power plants, nuclear power plants, or large fossil fuel power plants, including coal and gas. The second component of the macrogrid is distribution to the high voltage section, which is nearer to the connected load but still distant enough to require higher voltages to reduce power losses. This part of the macrogrid reduces the extra high distributed voltage to 100,000 volts or more. High voltage lines distribute power to localized rural and urban areas containing many towns and cities. This high voltage component also is fed by additional power suppliers including medium-sized fossil fuel power stations, surplus energy from industrial facilities, and other medium-sized power plants such as large diesel electric. Finally, the third component sees the voltage transformed down to lower voltages used by locally connected loads. Low voltage lines distribute power at voltages ranging from 480 volts to 220 volts. At this level is where most macrogrid loads are connected. A big disadvantage of the macrogrid for users connected at the local level is their vulnerability to power outages from downstream interruptions. Storms several states away can cut off power supply to loads connected to the low voltage component of the macrogrid. Winter weather can disrupt high voltage distribution lines. Large power stations within the extra high voltage macrogrid can go offline leading to power outages and brownouts. The U.S. utility grid is an aging system as the power outages in Texas demonstrated and is not a universally connected grid system for one sector to supply power should another sector go offline. At the heart of every macrogrid system, at the end of the extra high and high voltage transmission lines, is the local power distribution network. This is in itself a microgrid, supplying low voltage through local transmission lines, from 220 to 480 volts, to things like residential areas, industrial plants, medium-sized cities, or data centers. When the macrogrid fails, all these local loads can lose power. The solution is power independence through adopting a microgrid. The U.S. Department of Energy define a microgrid as a group of interconnected loads and distributed energy resources, or DER, within clearly defined electrical boundaries that act as a single controllable entity with respect to the macrogrid. A microgrid has power generation independent of the macrogrid, like a renewable energy power for those users wishing to have a more sustainable energy supply and lower carbon footprint, including solar arrays, wind farms, gaseous or diesel fuel generator systems, local use of combined heat and power CHP, from large generator sets of local power plants, standby batteries incorporated into the power system to provide standby power and manage transient load conditions. Coordinated microgrid power is then connected to a local low voltage distribution network, with the local network supplying power to loads such as data centers, factories and industrial areas, smart cities, and residential areas. With the macrogrid aging, microgrids are quickly becoming an efficient alternative, bringing together renewable resources and established energy solutions, such as engine generator systems.